Hi everyone, David A. Cox here with Tech Talk America. And today I'm going to teach all of you how you can remotely control a Mac. Now this is great for several different types of situations, but the two that I always like to uh, highlight are any of you out there with aging parents who occasionally need some remote support. Uh, also, very good point for me to remind you that if they do need support or a private lesson, I am now doing that remotely. Especially great in the winter for me to do that. So if you ever want a private lesson or would like to gift one, techtalkamerica.com slash private lessons. The other situation where I like to highlight that this can be very, very useful is for small businesses. Because let's face it, a lot of small businesses don't have an on-site tech support person. So this way, if you're in a pinch, you can get anyone out there with a Mac to be able to control your Mac. I'm gonna teach you how to do that coming up next on Tech Talk America. All right, folks, so there are a few ways that you can actually do this. This way is, of course, free. If you are looking for a different solution um, that offers a few more options, I would recommend that you check out the piece of software known as Team Viewer. It's actually what I use for when I'm doing private lessons. So if you're going to be taking over someone else's Mac, uh, what you're going to do is first you're going to open up the Messages app, which we have right here, and you're going to, here under 2, put in that person's name. And you're going to make sure, of course, that on their computer, make sure that they have uh, messages loaded, make sure that it's registered to their Apple ID or phone number. And so then that way, when you go to their name and click on the little arrow that you see next to it, you will see here that there are two options. One is invite to share my screen and one is ask to share screen. Uh, usually this tends to be initiated by the person who's going to be providing technical support, so usually it's going to be ask to share screen. So now on my computer sitting right next to me, uh, I have just received a little pop-up notification at the top right that says David Acox would like to view your screen, accept. Now when you do that, you have two options. You can either allow the user to control the screen or observe. I'm going to hit accept and voila, you'll see I'm in the middle of editing this class. How about that? A class within a class. So here I can, you can see I can move around windows. I can really do a anything that I need, uh, provided that I don't have to log out of the user. A couple of other little quick, quick tricks I want to show you here. If the person uh, who you're working with, if the video connection isn't quite stable, one thing you might want to just make sure is if you go here into, you'll notice it now says screen sharing at the top left of my screen. If you go into preferences, the second tab that you'll see here is quality, and just make sure that it's set to adapt. That way, if it's a faster network connection, you know, it'll keep up, it'll be high definition video. But if it's not crystal clear, you'd still rather it usually be a smooth picture over, over quality, usually. Another trick is if you anticipate that you're gonna be doing this a lot, one thing that you can do, if you want, is if you look here at the bottom, you'll notice that when I'm in screen sharing, there's this icon that appears at the bottom right corner uh, that says screen sharing. Now, interestingly enough, this is not actually an app. This is part of messages. If you go into the uh, into the app list on your Mac, you'll notice that it does not show up. So if this is something that you're anticipating doing a lot, what you could consider doing is secondary click right here, go into options, and you'll notice right here, we can keep that icon in the dock. Thank you for watching everyone. Uh, just a little reminder, if you ever want to do a private lesson with yours truly, you can find out all the information through the private lessons page on techtalkamerica.com. This is David A. Cox, class dismissed.